Hello, everybody. My name is John Lucal. This is a special live stream on a Friday night. I have some demo songs I want to write for this new library, and I thought, you know, what the heck? Let's just do them together. So I'm going to stream for a while and write music and share what happens. And hey, there's Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Welcome. This is all in celebration for the release of the newest library I've just put out. Uh, let's see, let's go to my website. I can show you the library. It's called Mega Magic Harp. It is a library of a beautiful 40 string concert harp. Oh, and I should probably get the view off. So that, um, and I recorded it during Christmas, and it is a beautiful instrument. At my, my, it's, it's in my family. Um, it will be my harp one of these days. It's just really, really nice. This is the harp. Actually, I'll just start with dry. Mary was the name of the woman that owned the harp. She was a cousin, second cousin to me. And I recorded this during Christmas with my iPhone. <laughs> and I plan to go back and record it again for a bigger library at some point. Um, I actually planned to do that during Christmas, but situations happened and a winter storm was coming. And so I left with just the iPhone recordings of it. But I carefully played each note in silence at night while my family was asleep. And now it's here. And I, I, I had to use a little denoising. There's a program called um, You Record. It's available for your iPhone that allows you to record it up to 96. I recorded this at 48 kilohertz because I didn't want to deal with sample rate conversions and stuff. What the heck am I doing live? <laughs> hey, Michael. Um, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm live because I have some demo songs to write. And so I thought I'd bring you guys along for the demo writing process. Have some fun. Um, this library is available on my website. It's at a killer introductory price. It's the harpist with the mostest for under its retail is $59 and it's 40% off until February 12th. And I've already gotten some incredible email from you guys saying how much you love this harp. Here, I'll share a couple comments. Um, these are just, I just copied and pasted from a couple emails. Uh, library brings tears to my eyes. It's so beautiful. I'm a certified sound healing practitioner moving into the digital world. And I have so many plans for this harp library already. That's awesome. And I loaded up your new harp and I went through the patches. The spirit of Dorothy Ashby just came over me. And she's an incredible African-American harp player from the 70s and just played with really cool ensembles and stuff. So it's, that's a really cool comparison for the library. Um, Sweet Memories, one of the late 60s and early 70s, came flowing back. Uh, emotional library. So uh, really, really cool. I appreciate the feedback from you guys. It's... It's nice. Uh, get back to that comments. But we need to do some demos because I want some more examples of what this library can do. And I want to show some of the things off that are here. I'm going to be using a lot of the um, Blue Arp set to modes for the scales. Because this allows us to take, let's do this. Um, let me mute the reverb harp so we can just hear the dry harp inside of blue arp if you set up here to instead of on if you set it to through then you can set up the arp engine to play only in a specific key i don't know why it keeps bouncing down here but that's graphics for you and new apple computers um you can do dorian phrygian lydian uh Locrian is beautiful for me. And this is one of those areas in music theory I never did get a full grasp of. I mean, Dorian mode, you just jam in D minor, just white notes, and that was easy. 
So I'm going to be using this to force myself to play in uh, accepted modes. I'm not, I'm not a film composer. I've worked on films. I have great respect for the people that work in film. It's challenging and work in classical. So I'm not, I'm not classically trained in sense of doing this right. So I'm probably going to use the orchestra sounds that I'm going to use the right way. I'm just telling you right ahead of time. Okay. So, <laughs> um, but we have some, let's see, I want to set up another Unify for an orchestral patch. So I'm going to go over here to, this is Core Station, which is one of the libraries, part of Discover Station, which is using the BBC Symphony Orchestra. I'm going to go down here to the Orc. I mean, again, I'm going to make, I could make a very big fool of myself doing this, but I'm going to do my best to, to see what I can come up with. Um, this is going to be calling up all of the brass, all the strings, and all the woodwinds. Take a minute to load them. It allows me to play the entire orchestra, which you can't do with the BBC Symphony Library. The way that it's presented is just the sections. And so you have to build it up. With Unify, we've got the ability to set it so that it plays inside of each Unify layer is all five groups of the, here's the Brett basses, the cellis, the so forth layered so that they can. Um, so I'm gonna use that to do like a little template thing and then I'm gonna do harp things. The whole coal of this is I wanna do lots of gliss. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, so, so, so. that type of thing, right? So um, let's see what happens. So, and if I want to do this stuff in a mode, then I need to go over here. Let's say new empty. Oh, uh, no, not new instrument layer. I need a new MIDI layer. So the new MIDI layer. Uh, yeah, let's just say empty. Let's build it from scratch. So we'll go over here. We say blue arp. And we set this to through. And we're going to say we're in the key. Let's be in the key of D minor. Fix D. And we want to D in the minor harmonic scale. And now all I have to do is join up each one of these layers. And now that MIDI effect is being routed to all three layers in Unify. So I'm going to play D. I am in Dor. I'm in. Am I in Dorian? Is that what I said it to? I, the harmonic minor is what I said it to. Uh, you're behind the screen, so we can't see it. It's yeah, harmonic minor. Penit oh, this is pentatonic minor. Uh, I want to be harmonic minor. So go harmonic minor. <laughs> Get all those really cool. And if you heard, like, let, let me show you. What's crazy with this is, here's what it would sound like if it wasn't for Blue Arp. But because Blue Arp is shifting notes to the appropriate notes, I have... That really cool harmonic minor. So I want that kind of like tension vibe and stuff like that. So. Okay. So it sounds like a film score just like that. It's pretty, pretty cool. So let's record. Um, I want to be over here. 
I need to do it faster. I, I'm in the right vibe, so. Yeah, I want more of that vibe, though. Let's see. Uh, one, two. That sounds a little... As best not to quantize it, it's just the beat. So this is Hammers from Spitfire Audio. I'm just going to do a little treatment with that. What do we got so far? <laughs> and I need to make, I need to set my harp to Dorian minor. So let's go over here to harp. And call it the blue arps and say D for the harmonic minor so that it's the same as the strings that I was doing, right? I'll clean this up. I'm, I'm being very messy right now. I'll clean it up, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm just grabbing the vibe and stuff like that. Can I show my keyboard? Um, I can. It's like this though. Let's see, let's go over here to keyboard cam and there. Oh, I think it's backwards. So let's see. Let's go over here and say transform. Form. There. You can see the keyboard that way. Oh, I could turn on the keyboard here too.
And because it's now in a bigger ensemble, I might want to go to the EQ. Find the frequencies for... Might want to make it a little bit crispier. Some of the patches I have, actually, actually all the patches, um, I have nails EQ. So you can bring up and automate that if you need to. All right, so let's see what we got here for this. Oh, that's fun. Um, again, I am not a film co composing scoring kind of guy, so if, if, um, I think Bob is doing one more demo. He did a really cool demo on the on the heart page already. That's really cool. Uh, let's see if I go T. Uh, let's go over here. This demo is just awesome. Uh, you can hear this yeah but it's more of a modern approach but he's going to do an orchestral demo as well So on the Plugin Guru page, you can hear that demo if you want. Um, I'm kind of having fun with just some uh, orchestral. Yes, this is basically the Berlin patch. Um, it, number 17, the Harp Gliss Master is the Berlin patch. You have control or dry to wet of the Berlin ambience layer as well as the dry harp. Um, but it's being fed through Blue Arp so that as I play the keys, as you can see, and I use that for the strings too, so that the orchestra. So they're going through the same modality to make me, because I'm really horrible at changing modes and playing different things. So by one thing that's kind of interesting is you can put anything like I put, this is the discover station strings um, inside of Unify. And I put, oh, we're gonna, oh wait, it was the other layer. I put, where are you at? I put a blue ARP and then fed all three layers to go blue ARP first. If, if you call up a MIDI effect up here, this gets hit and then it gets sent down to here. And then these are all linked up by just going down here and saying MIDI one. They're talking to MIDI one. So if I change, if I go to pentatonic major, I'm now in D major because I have it at fixed D, but I'm going to change this back to, uh, harmonic minor and so like that makes it so that as I play this sequence if I turn this off horrible so this allows it to move the notes to play in a harmonic minor uh, scale and so I'm going to do that with a harp now. Um, I think maybe for the beginning of this, before this starts, I should have like some sort of... 
Maybe we'll do something like that. So. And harps don't play like that. And they can't play that low either, actually. <laughs> but it's fun. So, and then we want to have a big, I have the orchestra percussion here. And then right there, oh, what did I do? Um, I want to have, let's see, I'm going to move this forward. One, two, three, four. Actually, let me do this. I'm, I'm editing the, the data over here for the sequencer. And I should probably show, show you guys what I'm doing, but let's see if that works. And I don't know what happened. Let me get back up. Unify there. So I'll see if I can get both the screens so you can see what's going on. I, I don't do this a lot, so I don't have my whole shtick down as far as to how to show all this. And oh, I'm, I'm on the small display anyhow. So. I'm going to minimize the harp so that it's smaller so you can see what I'm doing over here. And uh, So I got an idea of something I'm gonna try. So Camera back to I will in a minute. Oh, what did I almost worked um okay stop over here i got the wrong application here again this is just the start of the demo i'm not gonna finalize these um let's see if i go back to camera one ah <laughs> So I'll work on this. I, I like I like the shape of. I want to actually this phrasing. I'm going to change. But again, these are. I'm just getting some sparks of ideas with you guys, and because I'm not an orchestral expert, I'm not going to spend hours doing this because it it's. I can. I'll do. I'll do a little lo-fi or something like that, and, and look a lot better because I'm a lot more familiar with those genres than cinematic orchestra. I can actually do one other orchestra one that I want to do. This just 
using one of the patches that I've made. That's kind of pretty. So we'll do that in a minute too. Um, let me see if there's something else that I want to add to this. It's, it's again, this is just ideas and then I'm going to clean these up off screen. <laughs> I kind of want to have like that kind of motif repeated by the parts. Actually from the beginning. So let's say from two. Something like that. Again, that's not quite right. So. Try this one time. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not playing it right. I I hear something, but I'm not playing it right. Undo, undo. Uh, so let me save this. Save this as cinematic idea. I think I'm going to clean this one up af off screen because it's just I, I don't want to show myself as being like using harp in the wrong way. I, I'm not I don't know how to use harp in an orchestra, but. <laughs> it still sounds really good. Um, oh, wait, let's call this unify. I'm going to um, since I saved this, I'm going to be able to delete these guys and let's call this the lo fi. Oh, this is cinematic patch. So save this one as. Cinematic patch. And the patch I want to use, hello, is over here on Harp Library. It's one of the BPM Harp. It's down here. Is it, I think, Heavenly Hotel? <laughs> Like that. All right, let's see if I can do a pass and make this sound fairly decent. So be enough because these are just to uh... it's just one patch let's see what Find something to play with that. Let's go to Uno Fi. So get some sort of cool drum groove going. Let's half time it. Now, in a case like this, I'm just going to bypass MIDI box. And I can play it myself. <laughs> I'll do a lot better that way. So, Fine, 
Have the drums just repeat an eight major phrase. I'm going to join these together. And these, I want all these to come down in velocity. Our mix is a little hot here, a little hot here, so let's bring everybody down. Modify this bass a little bit. I like how it kind of sticks out and it's got a nice round bottom to it. We don't have the settings we need, so let's see. Let's go to this Guru sampler and bring up the release. And they're mono, so they cancel each other out, which is nice. Oh wait, let's keep D. Duh. <laughs> uh, cancel. Uh, make sure you guys can see enough of what's going on here. Uh, let me call up Unify, shrink it so I can show you the keys that I'm playing since you guys like to see that. So. Okay. So here we go. I liked up until then, so let's see here. All right, let's see. Quantize them to the same. Join the. Yeah. And everything. That's just one patch from Mega Magic Harps. And then I. Drums and bass. So let's save. Because this is the 
cinematic patch idea. Okay, so we got that. <laughs> we're moving, we're moving, we're grooving here. So, oh, I guess, I hope what you guys get. Uh, some chill guitar phrases in there, John. Oh, um, well, when you're using chill guitar phrases, let, let's do something with one. Maybe we'll do chill guitar and harp together. Uh, but you typically you need to start with the phrase first. Um, so that way you build around that because the phrases are kind of unto their own self. It's hard to make those fit into an existing song. And, oh, you know, I didn't put any of those in here. I, uh, let's see, do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. That's a little out of the scope of what I want for these demos. I want to keep them really simple. It's like a few things from one other library or from the standard library and then harp so that we can really make sure that we show what the harp is doing. And it's the star of the demos. So we want it to be front and center, not chill guitar, which is a great library. Love it. Um, but we might use, this might be one for a more cinematic, moody. You know, comedy film scenes. This is one I kind of designed exactly for Andreas. I listened to a whole bunch of Andreas albums. Let's do something like that. Um, yeah. And for this, I, well, let's get the motif idea down. Try and I from the heart. Okay. DJ, I appreciate all your input, man. That's awesome. Let's see here. Let's, um, I want to be a different tempo. Let's be a little bit slower, let's say, and let's, let's rename this so we don't erase anything. Save as the new chill, should be new age. Uh, We'll call it the Andreas demos that I know I'm going to put. Something like that, right? Yeah. So we'll go. Oh, I got to get the five. See how that works. I'm going to actually try to quantize it and just see if it sticks. Oh, not eight though, so. <laughs> Break down this quantize a little bit. I'm gonna try to make, let's do, we're gonna, uh, so here's how it works. Um, I've made the Ma Mega Magic Harp libraries now available with 175 patches. On February 14th, I'm going to release um, a, probably around 40 bonus patches for the library for Halloween, because it's harps and it's beautiful and stuff. But there'll be all sorts of weird stuff in the library as well, because harp 
can be used for cool sound design things and stuff. So I'm going to make a patch right now that is going to be in the bonus library. In other words, this bass sound I'm going to make doesn't exist because I haven't made it yet. So let's see if we can get into the bass frequencies. So go down an octave. This might be a case where I use just one sample so that I get the right tonality because I sampled like every note. So each note's a different string. Um, one thing with unified samplers, you can just go like that. And I want some more pop on it. So I'm gonna go one shot, unilateral, custom LFO shape, make it super fast and speed this up. And too much but a little bit and then I should layer this with another waveform harp so let's go layer add we could add DX bases that might be kind of cool and bring down the velocity and then let's find a bass sound Let's close, go to parameters. Need this to be the modern engine. No click. You know, I want a little snap filter here. This window, I should be able to. Yeah, this frequency needs to die away, so let's have this. And let's have another bass added to this to give even more bottom. So we're going to go to Guru Sampler to the basses and to a nice round. Like a little FM S curl. This gets to be more velocity sensitive. I like the I like the vibe of this. Um, and um, before I do the bass part, let's get a drum groove. And you're gonna be surprised. I'm gonna call up an oldie but a goodie. Spectrosonic Stylus RMX, come into the house. Let's see what we can do. Um, we're updates. Oh, I don't. I don't. I, that's right. There's a new update. I don't need it for this. 
let's go over here to expander libraries to my own big bad beats that I did 22, 22 and a half years ago. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something that might work for this. Um. Okay, so let's drag over the MIDI file, turn off host to sync, and now I can quantize it straight. I need it to pop a little bit more and this might become like a loop vibe and then I'll put another drum kit over the top of it. Um, let's see, let's have it play and go to edit. And we can go over here to pitch. I love to do the pitchy G stuff. So And then to make it really fun, I'm gonna go to Chaos and turn on Chaos. Let's have it mess up the dynamics. Mess up the pitch, no. Timing just a little bit, yeah. A little bit of mistake in Chaos every now and then. That kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so now we need to turn off. Auto sync is off, so good. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna get put into. Um, let's put it into some sort of a limited frequency filter thing. What do I have that can do? I, I have so many effects, I forget what they all can do. It's crazy. Um, I could play a supermodal. This is really cool for getting cool vibes. Let's go to drums. have it off for this part, right? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow. Oops. Graphics get messed up. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm gonna automate this so that it's not in and then it's in. So let's go like this and go to latch. Oh, right, that's right. Okay, one more time.
and nothing here bass bites. Why did it restart over there? That's interesting. Well, let's see if it got that. Yeah, you know, I can't do the bass. It, it just gets in the way of stuff. So let's see if I can find another vibey. We should save this before in case we crash. Because this is our harpy. So this is a new patch for the bonus library coming out in February, okay? Uh bass harpy tonky tonk bait honky tonk. Yeah, we'll just call it honky tonk. Made in a live stream demo writing hangout. You guys are hanging out. <laughs> Keep the bass around, just press a couple of doubles. And then, yeah, I liked it, but it was a different vibe than what I'm going for. It. So, uh, save as save. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to do one more thing. Let's go to the save page. And one of the added tags is bonus, because this is a bonus patch. So again, this doesn't jump. What if you did a kiss of bass every four bars? Is that a idea? idea? Well, let's try it. Um, I, th I think sparse, but hitting on the chord changes is probably the thing to do. And I might actually... I'm going to have this low bass. Ring out because I kind of like that kind of a vibe. It's kind of like it puts it in like it's a sub, like an 808 kind of thing, but it's part of the bass at the same time. So let me try that. Um. And, and see, so it kind of start simple, and then I'll, I'm going to turn it into a syncopated. That's where the big groove's going to hit. So let's, and I don't want the bass to ring out because it, it gets in the way. So let's go over here and say. So I need to be able to do that kind of thing. I need this to be. Let's try that. Right there, I need to do the. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, Volenvider feel. He's got. Yeah, so I'm. That's what I'm trying to do is get something for the harp to kind of like shine in, you know. And 
And then one more element to this, um, and that would be what, one of my favorite, not, it's very flexible, which is why I probably like it, is the uh, drum library for contact that came out like five. For, I met the guy at the NAMM show that did the library and really cool dude, drum lab. Because you've got a combination for every sound of an electric and an acoustic. And it has a really cool. So when the group. Let's see, I, I just want to get the vibe for this. So. That sounds good. That's where I messed up my 16 major phrase. And then I have, um, isn't that funky? I like that. So this would be a little bit lighter for the groove and stuff. I gotta clean it up mix wise. And then it stops. <laughs> That's the end of the demo. That'd be funny. That's like the, what's the famous one? Um, um, uh, and then you just walk away. <laughs> um, but let's see here. I want to go to, um, let's do this. I'm getting silly. Keep and hope we got it. There, I just need to fill that out. Right there, let's go back to this one. Four. There. So. Yeah, I want the back beat. Back. Here. We'll try to keep it in the... 
Synchro- I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Lewis Cole, but man, he's not going to be out these days. And then, and then this. All right. Wow. Well, I got three demo songs. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and helping out. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna. Um... I might actually start it out that way. I'm gonna think about it. Uh, let's see. Need to drink some kombucha and listen. part to come in right there for uh, 25, right? No. Um, it's this one, right? All right, I got to fix the drums. So let's go down here. Turn on cycle real quick. I used to have key commands. Man, I used to do a lot more work with Logic for songwriting. When you're just sound design all the time, you don't write as much. Yeah, that's a little low in hitting. Let's 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 clean that up. Okay, hello, thank you. Uh, we're on the kick. No, we want to stay on the kick. Uh, don't suck with me. better so now turn off cyclic and uh, it's not cleaner I like that. I like the kick where it's the harp i think the harp's ringing out a little too long so one other thing in the harp library that's very nice is you can actually automate this just go into like latch mode and there's a knob set up for release of the harp oh i didn't do that to this one yet there's a couple of patches that i missed knob assignments so if you come to something like this and you're like oh this doesn't have knob assignments 
we can actually copy them over really quickly. So if we go over here to a patch like this, and we say copy all macro definitions, and I just, that was just the Andres patch by itself. So you say call up Andres definitions and paste, and now you have knob assignments and they're all set up. Oh, they're not. Uh, okay, well, let's do it this way. I have another way of doing it. So I also saved a file here for uh, Mega Magic Harp. It gets me like the, the main attack release and stuff like that. And I can remove invalid leaks because that's for the, the, the four, there's a four layer harp I made. And you're not working either. Uh, why aren't you? Oh, well, okay. Let's just do it this way then. It's, it's being a poop. <laughs> um, let's go over here and say knob assignments to unify. Oh, this is an embedded unify. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I was thinking somewhere else. So I can go down here and this harp. I, I'm going to try something and see if I can get away with it for this. So let's go make a magic harp. Just calling up the dry patch because this is the basic layout of the dry patch. I don't. Essentially the same. No, it's not. It's hitting harder. Anyway, I will adjust the releases. I was going to show you how you could automate that, but I, I have failed at that mission for the moment. So, let's see if this works, and I might call it a night. All right. So we need to do a little bit more treatment to the drum groove. I want it to be kind of more far away and I don't really want to think too hard. So I'm just going to use something like space designer. And let's see here. They got these presets for some kind of weird stuff in here. The beef. It's kind of weird that I'm missing the, their preset library. You know, maybe because I installed this version of logic i haven't updated i haven't gotten the presets so i'm not going to worry about that right now so we'll use something else because i have way more reverbs than i need i was thinking actually you know something that might be kind of fun is there's a really cool granular effect from arturia i've been using a bit called fragments that could probably do some really fun uh hello no Fun. I like that. I just want it to be a little bit more like in its own little, like it didn't belong in here, you know? <laughs> So save, that's to the chill Andreas demo. Um, I'll try to get these up over the weekend. I'll, I'll do a little bit more production work and clean them up. But that was fun. That was fun. I didn't know what to expect from doing this. So thank you guys for joining. Good to see you show up. I didn't know if anyone would show up at all. So this is cool. Um, there's a live stream tomorrow. 
for 90 minutes from 12 to 1.30 at this channel. So if you want to come back and join me then, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to be covering. I think we're going to be looking at uh, different categories of sounds and how to program or something like that. I don't know. I need to think about it. So anyway, uh, show up to flow up. Hey, Biggie. Hey, did you did you hear this or did you just show up? I might have to play this one more time for my friend Big E. Uh, thanks. I'll try to. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow at 12 is when we do the, the other live stream. I'll show these demos then. <laughs> oh, you've been here. Okay. Cool. 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 Anyway, thank you for joining. That's very fun. My head. It's, I, I don't use my songwriting head muscles as much as I should because uh, it's definitely a little like, okay, ready for a little break. So thank you. And we will see you around. I'm again tomorrow at twelve o'clock to one thirty. Here, there's another live stream I'll host, and then next Saturday after that, probably is going to be one. So, hope you're all well. See you later.